This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Speaking of pigs, where's Botan for all of this? Ah, uh, we don't actually get to have the... <laughs> or maybe we didn't treat her. <laughs> my eyes open suddenly. The brightness in my room is different from usual. The curtains are wide open. Rays of pure white light shine through the window sideways. It seems that I've woken up too early. I vaguely recall dreaming of something, but I can't remember the details. I feel gloomy. <sighs> the reason for that is... Kotomi's recital. I'll need all the energy I can get for that, so I go back to sleep. <laughs> I can't get the recital out of my head. I can get out of bed and sluggishly get dressed. <laughs> Looking through the school gates, I see that nobody's around. You're way too early. I feel like an idiot talking to myself. I walk up to the front yard. I pass a baseball player wearing an unnumbered jersey heading to the field. He's probably going to morning practice. This is the first time I've been at school this early since being admitted. To be honest, I'm more concerned about Kotomi. What did she end up doing yesterday? If nothing really happened... Knowing Kotomi, she's probably been practicing the violin since early this morning. That's the real reason the guy won't go to her house, because she plays violin all the time. I put on my campus shoes and head to the drama club room. If she's here at school already, she's probably taken the violin from the room. I see two familiar girls in the hallway in front of the drama club room. Oh, yeah, good morning. You guys are even earlier than me. I knew it. I'm a little gratified to learn that my prediction was right. So, what are you doing? Uh, what's that? I ask while pointing at the poster they're trying to put up. I look at the poster again. Kotomi Ichinose's violin recital. After school today in the front yard, free admission. One minor detail I'm going to add. Free pizza. The parts without writing are full of the expected round shapes. I have no idea why you keep trying to spread the big dongo family, Furukawa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean we'll attract a big audience? There will probably be casualties. These two young terrorists are looking forward to an unprecedented disaster. Just checking, but this isn't the only poster, right? I see. RIP! I tear the frightening poster off the wall. Not many people will see it here. I'll put it somewhere more effective. I say the first thing that comes into my head. Taking the poster, I roll it up. Oh, no. No. Yeah, leave it to me. I, I feel sorry for the Dongo, but this is in defense of the peace of the school. I'll put it up somewhere secluded in order to advertise the recital. Quietly. By the way, when did you and Kotomi split up yesterday? She looks at Fujibayashi. Uh -oh. I don't know what's up with all that. Alright. She must have ditched it again. それから私とりょうちゃんで部室まで戻ってきたんですけど、岡崎さんを起こしたら悪いなって思って、そのまま帰りました。you didn't have to feel bad about that. Oh, she was? She was sleeping too? 
I remember her saying something about waiting for me to wake up. I bet she wasn't sleeping. I bet she was just pretending to. It's alright. It's my fault for falling asleep. Fujibayashi picks up her bag as she timidly says that. Is there something you need to do? Did you find a place to practice? <laughs> it's our house. Is there really a convenient place like that here at school? Oh, really? She hates me. Well, whatever. Just give me her. Just give her my regards then. If you can't take it anymore, just plug your ears. When I say that, they both laugh. I'm trusting you. Let's invite Sprite Girl and Game Boy Girl and Girl who's having a nervous breakdown in the hallways. Ding dong! It's finally lunchtime. <sighs> I let out a yawn and stand up. I don't have the energy to put up much of a fight at the bread shop, so I sluggishly head for the door. I run into Fujibayashi on her way out of the classroom with her lunchbox wrapped in a cloth. Yeah, Sunohara is literally just dead. Like, he's not in this at all. Are you eating lunch with Furukawa? We only exchange those few words before she runs off. Having friends must be nice. Slap! Like I said, having friends must be nice. You're as violent as usual, Kyo. That's not something to be proud of. That's a wonderfully violent response. Hey, he's spitting straight facts. It's my fault? And who are you calling stupid? You're acting exactly the same as me. Not as good as yours. You know, a comic duo where both people are quippers won't work. Maybe Sunohara fell victim to Kotomi's violin. Eh, possibly. So, what do you want? Oh, I thought, I thought you were gonna off. I thought you wanted to go to McDonald's with me. It's too late to put a stop to it. They really want to do it. I didn't make that promise. You did. I am nobody's master. Except my pet. <laughs> Whatever. What kind of thought process did you use to arrive at the word master anyway? With what? An audience. So, so the drama club has literally become a cult now. A toast to you for making me round up people despite knowing the dangers. Oh, we should invite uh, Yoshino Yusuke. He's a musician. He will love the music. You have more friends than I do. The student council? You have to get a permit for the recital? Uh, I, I, I don't know about that. We're uh, basically killing people. <laughs> You're really good at political stuff like that, huh? You're the worst. After saying that, Kyo walks away. Oh, fine. I decide to look for candidates. I realize that I'm asking people to go through hell with me. 
One person who'd be perfect for a special mission like this comes to mind. I look towards his desk, but no one is there. Kasunohara is dead. He must have gone out to buy some bread or something. Russell, Russell. I take out the big Dango family poster from this morning. I walk slowly toward the empty desk. Better find something to tape it down with. Does anyone have any tape or thumbtacks, glue, or double-sided tape at work, too? Oh, thanks. Can you bring them over here? <laughs> thanks! I unroll the poster and ready the thumbtacks. Spot grip, poke, spot grip! Spot grip, poke, spot grip! All done! Okazaki, Hey, I'm glad to see you're still alive. Yeah, what? Can't you tell? It's a poster for a violin recital. What are you, stupid? I'll get in trouble if I stick it to the wall. If you don't know, then read this. That's it. You're a slow learner, aren't you? Why is that? Oh yeah, that did happen. What kind of dream? <laughs> I totally forgot about that! これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これは夢だって言い出して、これ
You're getting way too excited. I glance sideways to look at the crowd Kyo has gathered. They look like prisoners of war being taken to a camp. How did you get so many? You used obobs? Uh huh, so you used your fists. I'll pass. The gathered sacrifices are whispering to one another. お前何やったの弟、掃除サボっただけだって。俺だって生活指導のプリントを忘れてたか。そう。それがなんでこんな目に。俺なんて半年前の早弁だぞ。お前、2年生の時って委員長とクラス違うじゃん。それでも罪は
<laughs> Make the confession public. What could go wrong? Kotomi, snap out of it. Don't give me that deer in the headlights look. Come here and introduce yourself. Nod. Trot, trot, trot. Bow. Sunahara is gaping like an idiot. <laughs> he must be feeling deja vu. What the heck? That's three hundred dollars. You made him on the money nice. Still, Day Sunahara obediently hands over all the bills and coins in his wallet to Kyo. I would have been like, okay, there's nothing in my wallet. Oh, boom! He receives earplugs in exchange. He slowly puts them on. Sorry to break it to you, but this is reality. It seems like you he can't hear anything. <laughs> Are you wearing noise canceling headphones? What? Are you wearing noise canceling headphones? What? <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Sensing danger, a few people remove the earplugs from their ears. After that introduction from Kyo, the drill sergeant, the recital begins. With her violin in hand, Kotomi stands before the audience. Oh, this poor girl. <laughs> Her first performance begins. Oh, boy. Her clumsy fingers play a simple melody, like that of a children's song. Since she is much better than when I first... Or she is much better than when I first heard her. Oh! Sometimes there are really horrible sounds mixed in, making this all the more frilling. <laughs> that ends her first tune. She's definitely better, but still not great. She's putting too much strength into it sometimes, which causes that explosive noise. The audience is nothing but an applause machine. It's just like the Muppets most wanted. <laughs> Kotomi must have calmed down since she can talk normally now. Her music is still a bit on the rough side, though. But still, if her, if her, if her recital actually was better than it was in the past, then uh, the few days she spent training actually... Dang, good job, Kotomi. <laughs> Nagisa's playing the castanets? <laughs> oh, I can play the most musically complex instrument as well, Ryo. Aww. Aww, that's so cute. <laughs> Furukawa and Fujibayashi are now standing next to Kotomi. 
They're holding a triangle and the castanets. I knew they had something planned. I want a fan song. I want fan music of this. I think this is postmodern music. You can't even call it music. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Kotobi talks about the final tune to the exhausted audience. We need someone on vocals. She closes her eyes and readies her violin. The bow touches the strings much more carefully than before. The bow. It sounds different, I think. Maybe she's a little more relaxed. The music is still clumsy, but it's better than before. It feels like a small child trying her best to play. The bow moves up and down as if chasing the musical notes. Her left hand fingers don't move much as they firmly grip the strings. The music is simple, yet warm. Why does the timbre of the violin always seem so nostalgic? While thinking of that, I close my eyes. Oh, he's falling asleep again! Dunk on it! I open my eyes. <laughs> we slept for the whole day. Kotomi is peering into my face. Behind her is Kyo with a disgusted look on her face. That's par for the course for Kyo. Was I asleep? I only meant to close my eyes for a few seconds. Is it over? <laughs> and Tomoya is lead vocal with lead vocals. <laughs> How did the audience react? <laughs> While holding the violin and the bow, Kotomi comes closer. You need to practice some more. She says it with a hint of disappointment. But the last song was good. It felt good listening to it, and it made me fall asleep. Sorry. She smiles softly. うん。ちょっぴり嬉しいの。私も最後の曲はとっても上手に弾けていたと思います。うん。ことみちゃん、気持ち良さそうだった。言っとくけど、あんたたちの演奏はロンゴ。お姉ちゃん、厳しい。<
It's not your fault. It's her fault for not telling you. Yeah, arm starts to hurt when uh, when you play Diablo free each day for a long time. Yeah, I, I get that. Sometimes you just need to give it a break. With that carefree line from Kyo, the atmosphere returns to normal. The twilight breeze blows for the four girls' hair. Everyone waves and they all go their separate ways. After that, Kotomi and I walk side by side. Neither of us try to speak, but I kind of like that. There's this strangely empty feeling, like at the end of a festival when we had just finished something. I think back to when Kotomi was putting the violin in its case. She was wiping the wooden surface with pe the peeling varnish again and again. Then she put the violin back in the case, closed it carefully, and locked it. She suddenly calls to me. My heart unexpectedly jumps. Remember what? Oh yeah, it's Friday. It'll be fine. Your hand is hurt, so don't bother making a lunchbox. We'll be the first ones there again. You'll get to pick any that you like. You quit playing current session of Diablo 3, playing on the hardcore mode? <laughs> Oh, and you gotta disconnect while playing. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Kotomi looks at me quiet and quietly smiles. Oh, she doesn't want to give up the violin. Yeah. I gently put my hand on Kotomi's head. I'll go with you. I pat her hair, but she looks embarrassed. Aw, head pats. Here's your bag. Do you think you can carry it? I hand her the heavy bag and she takes it, holding it close to her chest to cover for her, in in her injury. I almost say I'll walk you all the way home, but decide against it. See you tomorrow, Kotomi. Aww. 